Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Really interesting case came through to our Ebervale clinic today. Uh, patient has a fungal infection which is in the process of getting treated so it has some drops to treat this but really struggling with their hearing and and the itching sensation that's in this canal at the moment what you can see here is we've got this very light colored mushy material now that's actually debris from the fungal infection itself but you'll also see that there are some white pieces in there that look like remnants from using a q-tip so this very thin fine uh, fibrous layers now that's actually the spores coming from the infection itself so with fungal infections the classic kind of um, appearance you get is this mushy layer on top with a thick under layer that's that's uh, a mixture of kind of dead skin and, and hardened up infected material so what we're trying to do here is use the sock uh, use the suction tube sorry just to suck down and pull away this material from the canal wall you can see that it's all coming away here can't quite see the eardrum yet but you'll get a good look as we lift this piece away from see there that flap that appears and it peels away quite nicely um the analogy i usually use to, to describe the texture of this if uh, if you ever had the skin on a custard uh, or a gravy something like that you get a skin on the top it feels that kind of consistency on the top here so you can sometimes lift and peel this down the canal unfortunately for this patient what's happened is that it's built up really deep in the canal so not only is it covered the canal walls but it's gone as that thick layer up and over the eardrum as well so really restricting the movement to the eardrum and really dampening that sound so patients having quite a few problems with their hearing on this one side at the moment apart from being really itchy and annoying as well so we've, you can see we're starting to peel those layers away there just getting our first glimpse of those kind of those layers you can see with the the, the spores on the top followed by the underneath and that that more uh, thinner mushier layer and then the thicker layer at the bottom so you can see that quite clearly there as there as it's coming away from the canal walls just trying to find a grip on an edge here that we can peel but it's as you can see it's just tearing and slicing apart as we're getting a grip on it now where we have to be careful here is because we have a layer built up of the eardrum um, we can't just go digging into that because you could end up you know pushing the the tube through the eardrum itself so what we've got to try and find is a weak edge to this section that flows over the eardrum now sometimes if you work back from where it starts so we're from where we're trying to work on is obviously the eardrum we're working back away from that to try and find an edge that we can peel down that will continuously go and take this off the drum itself but as you can see it's not really too compliant and because of the aggravation to the skin in the ear canal the canals are quite pink they're aggravated they're puffy which means that you don't have a lot of room so when you are doing a peel like this normally you, you kind of peel it across on one side to the opposing canal wall you have got a little bit more room but this one because there's not a lot of room you don't have a lot of space to do to carry that peel out just trying to lift off that right canal wall because i think that's where we're going to get the most movement here aiming for the top now just see if we can peel downwards because obviously we've got more space top to bottom than we have left to right and we can see we're getting a little bit of movement to that layer there can you see it's just peeling down but unfortunately it's just peeling away in smaller pieces at the moment i want a really good uh really good piece to come away um that's a good analogy if you have a strip wallpaper when you take that away you know sometimes you get these really frustrating little bits that come away and suddenly you'll get this one piece that will take almost the whole sheet off that's what you're looking for is that one piece to try and get a good grip i are just starting to get a bit of movement to that right side then it's starting to peel up there a little bit more while we're doing this we're constantly checking in with the patient making sure they're feeling okay are they all right for us to continue are they in any discomfort uh so it's, it's you're always checking in to make sure they're all right especially with a deep deep uh, peel like this now because we're not be able to get it from the sides i've aimed for a, a loose piece here i can see moving at the bottom so i'm going to hold the suction on there let the grip build 
and you can see it's actually sucked a hole through there now. So this is like a, a, a layer that's built up just in front of the eardrum. So it means I've got a bit of room to play with at the bottom here. Trying to get a grip strong enough to pull this away because you've got to think this is one continuous layer that's gone from one canal wall across the eardrum to the opposing canal wall. So as much tension as we're putting on the front to pull, those side pieces are holding it in, but I can't get enough of a grip on the side pieces to detach those first. So we're having to kind of work backwards on this one. Just trying to pull down from the top there. You can see it starting, look, it's starting to peel away. You can see it peeling from the skin underneath. There, see that coming away? Great, now we've loosened it now. It's come away from the drum. You can see it's loose, it's moving back and forth. You can see how thick that is. But it's still held to the bottom left and top right of the canal, one continuous piece. So I'm going to aim for the center section, try and hold it and pull. You can see it's not coming away, so let's try and strip away the one corner really holding in there. You can see just how tightly that's holding in there. I can see that there's also a piece now that goes down into the valley we always talk about just in front of the eardrum. So that piece is going to be really firmly held in there. If we're lucky, it'll take the valley piece out as well as that bottom section, but it's just not quite peeling the way I want it to. Always difficult to get to this top right corner. And uh, just because of the angles in here and the width of the canal, but I'm aiming a little bit higher. Let's see if we hold the suction tube on there. Let the suction tube grip. Can we pull it? We've got a bit of movement. It's pulling forwards, but it's not really pulling out. Sorry, I should have said we switched to the fine end so we we can uh, get it do more delicate work in here. Sorry, I meant to say that earlier. Uh, just get a bit carried away with the narration. You can see now that we're just trying to aim for a flatter section of that thick debris. Trying to hold the suction tube on there to get a good grip. Trying to free up any bits we possibly can here. You can see the movement and how much of this is attached to the canal walls, which is why it's really just not budging with the uh, with the with the, the the amount of suction we've got in here at the moment. Got a good grip there. I'm trying to tease it out from that right side to try and get this out. Although these can be one of the most frustrating ones to do because you are doing a lot of very fine movements, very tiring on the arms. Uh, they're also the most satisfying ones to do. So it's always nice when you do manage to get these uh, these bits out. Aiming again for that bottom. I'm looking, I'm just trying to weaken it around the edges at the moment. Oh, there we are. We've got a peel on that bottom section. So we took a chunk away there, but it didn't take the top right piece away as well. So we're going to need to get rid of that. But now we've detached the bottom left. I'm hoping that the top right will, will come away a little bit more easily. Trying to, I've just had to back away a little bit to get the angle with the suction tube. Okay, same for a different spot. Just trying to get a grip hold on there, pulling from the side. Now we're getting some movement. You can see it starting to come away from the corner of the drum and the corner of the canal there. Aiming for that flatter section, holding on to it, gently teasing this out every time. There you go. Now it's come away from that bottom section there. So we're slowly breaking away all the adhesions around the side. Let's see if we can get this top section down and away now. Got a good grip there now. Let's see if we can hold on to that grip. It's moving. There it comes. There you go. So you can see that whole top section just came away then. There we are. So we've exposed. You can see now, you can start to see the eardrum behind looking very red, very aggravated in there from this infection. Like I said, the, the gentleman is having some treatment for this, but because he just wasn't hearing very well, we thought we'd try and give him a bit of relief while that, uh, while that medication's kicking in. It also means that the medication can actually get down to the skin and really help to clear this up a little bit more. Now I can see I've got a bottom section now in this valley. We've got this... Uh, this, this sort of lighter material that has this 
fuzzy top to it and that's just that little bit of fungal infection this is really annoying bit of skin that keeps getting in the way so i'm just going to get rid of that because it's obscuring my view all the time but watch what happens as we lift that see as we lift we, we're getting a pull now further into the canal so we're going to run with this we're going to take this all the way down as we lift it watch what happens here as we lift that's the edge of what's down in the valley and covering the bottom of the eardrum so look how big this is when we start lifting it up that is a huge piece of fungal infection skin really thick thick layer so we're going to switch now we're going to put the standard size ulna in here just because that that thin end that fine end is is not going to hold on to that tight enough and if we can suck a lot of this into the end of the suction tube we can get a really good grip really take it out the bottom of that valley making circular movements moving around pulling left to right up down loosening this from that valley there we go it's starting to come away there it goes all sucked into the salt into the suction tube okay so we got rid of the, now you can still see there's a layer at the bottom of the eardrum it's a discolored layer a brownish tinge to it so we're going to aim for that section next now this we've got to be really careful here we've got an aggravated inflamed eardrum uh this is going to be sensitive for the patient to remove this we've asked the patient is it okay if we carry on they're happy for us to do so on the proviso that if they're uncomfortable we'll stop so they've put up with a lot already i'm just going to clear some of this because i need to get a good view in there uh, i'm just going to clear some of these bits of dead skin away from the outer part of the canal first they tend to flick up in front of the camera because we're working in that bottom section there There you are, starting to peel all that away. Gives me a chance to catch my breath as well. There we are. Okay, so we can see this bottom section here. You've got the really kind of fuzzy layer sitting on top of the, the, the brown material there. Let's take these pieces away to give us the best view we can. Look how pink and aggravated that skin is under there. You know, this is these are long-standing infections that flare up every so often. So you can see it's really, really aggravated. I don't want to introduce anything wet in here either so because with a fungal infection you're looking at it being wet moist environments are going to really flare this up so if I put olive oil in there it's just going to cause more problems so we're going in dry so you can see well we've got this bottom layer now we're just trying to peel down and across the bottom of the eardrum here okay there we've got a grip let's see if we can tease this across we're working down in that valley so very small space here don't forget what you're looking at here is if you look at the tip of your little finger this is going to be about this that size so this is the, the kind of you're talking about in the bottom third of that so it gives you an appreciation for how small a space you're working in here okay how many of you looked at the tip of your little finger then so what you can see now you've got uh, down in the basin we're just starting to peel it away from the canal walls I can start to see some of the skin underneath we've got this piece here to the right hand side the same for the flatter section a good grip watch what happens now as we pull this dead skin all peels away from the eardrum it's all coming away really nicely there let's have a good look at that again now when we go back in now we can actually start to see the hammer bone now we can see the features of the eardrum this is started to look more like eardrum skin We've got this piece now to the right hand side, which I would really love to be able to get rid of if we can. Let's see if we can peel that. We're just going to aim for a larger section of it. See if we can get a good grip. It's in a corner. It's behind a lump. It's in the valley. It's really difficult to get to. Trying to hold on to a flatter piece of it there. Don't forget, we can't just drag across the skin. We've actually got to peel it away as we're coming away whilst avoiding the canal wall and the eardrum there we go just pulling away and across oh just lost the grip away into the left hand side there we go it's peeling you can see it coming away i just want to get rid of this infection debris there we go perfect right okay now i've exposed the majority of the eardrum here uh there's a little patch to the right hand side but I think this patient's uh, done really well today. And to sit through all of this, they did really, really well. So we're going to take that away. 
There we are. I'm going to call it a day there. So what we've said to this patient is carry on with the drops. You can see there's a couple of little bits there. We can actually see part of the eardrum there, but looking very red and aggravated. Patient's going to go away, carry on with the drops, and come back in a couple of weeks. So we'll look at the video then and see, uh, see what happens. This is what we removed. Looks really unimpressive, I know, but uh, it was just such a difficult one to do. A really interesting case I want to share it with you guys. And there's the obligatory tank shot. You can see what ended up in there. Thanks very much for watching, Thank you very guys. much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. And as always, guys, until the next time, take care.